The experience of TED is a very special experience and I feel very fortunate to experience it live because even though TED.com has done a wonderful job spreading TED Talks all around the world, there is nothing like TED itself. Whether they are the, the, the talkers or any other people that who are attending, for some reason they are all willing to share. And what I'm hoping for from Ads Worth Spreading is that brand owners and clients and agencies see the stuff uh, and go, I want to do something like that. Why aren't I doing something like that? Oh, maybe it's because I haven't asked the right questions. Maybe it's because I haven't approached things in this way. I think advertising has always been uh, an effort to maximize what you can do in communication. When someone really gets an ad right in such a short amount of time, they tell a story that moves you deeply. And I think that what's happening right now is really exciting is it's going beyond that kind of simple equation of ad to buy something. I think what makes any ad worth spreading is that it has a, uh, a serious, um, innate connection with a viewer that doesn't feel fabricated, that teaches us something new, that lets us explore something new. I think ads um, should inspire and should engage and make you laugh or cry. That I have a visceral experience, that it actually provokes me to laugh I get goosebumps. I think about something, I go, wow. That it's remarkable. And I mean in the dictionary definition of the word remarkable. It's worth making a comment upon. Because it's true. Because it's a brand doing what it is supposed to be doing, walking its stock. Anything where you walk away going, yeah, that image or that thought sticks with you and it changes the way that you think about something, I think that makes an ad worth spreading. We can't do anything as advertisers without um, brave and interesting clients. I don't think you can manufacture viral. I think you can just be lucky and, and, and most of all just pay attention to having a good idea. Don't worry about the outcome, worry about the input. It's about how we deliver, what we deliver, but not in the same old way. It's about blowing it up and starting again. It's essentially about redesigning how we do what we do to design in all the good stuff and design out the crap. Going forwards, and that's even just being here now, if you're the person, I don't really like Twitter, uh, it's, it's a waste of time, uh, I don't do Facebook, I, I don't have a Tumblr, like, then you are not part of culture. If it's not visible on YouTube, you're missing out uh, big time. And I think that uh, that was in the first year that we developed it, that was really our goal, to get as many people uh, aware of the insight and, and YouTube is excellent for that. Ads are really, uh, you know, a brand's voice in the world and I, I'm much more interested also more in brands and companies now and what, what the, you know, the new world means for uh, what's at the heart of a company. So I think that, you know, marketing is one thing but sometimes that's just the window dressing to what's at the truth of, um, of your company and what does it stand for.